I woke up Chris Breezy Oh my God, I'm the man I'm so fly and I can dance There's tattoos on my neck I just FaceTime Kanye I told him I'm his biggest friend, yeah Got all these hoes in my DM yeah. Say what your name is Oh yeah, that bitchy girl Tell me where you headed Can I walk with you, girl? You got that look in your eyes that look like you give your boy here good old time and I'm on me, girl. That's right, I'm on me, girl. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So finally I'm doing a makeup tutorial for you guys. This is my go-to kind of like everyday makeup look. So I've already done my eyebrows. I'm just going to push my hair out of my face. I'm going to take my virgin coconut oil to moisturize. This is literally like my favorite stuff to moisturize with because it's inexpensive and it does the job. Like, And it's super organic and natural and I don't know, I just feel more comfortable using this type of moisturizer versus like, like, um, like a high-end, high-brand moisturizer. Because it's cheap, it moisturizes my skin, and just makes me look flawless. Then I'm going to take my Mario Badescu um, lavender spray. I think this is one of the newest scents, and it smells freaking awesome. Like, I absolutely love it, and it just leaves my face looking so moisturized, so, like, refreshed. Like, I just love this stuff, and you guys can just see for yourself, like, how this makes my face look. Vanity Planet sent me some of their brushes I'm going to use today. The first brush I'm taking is the medium um, blending brush, I believe it's called. And I'm also taking my MAC uh, Deep Darkest Mineralized Skin Finish Powder. And sometimes what I'll do is just apply that on my eyelid just to give my lid a little more depth. I mean, obviously because it's like an everyday go-to makeup. I'm not going to do anything too crazy, but I don't like my eyelash or my eyelids just to go bare. So I just put a little bit of that brown color on them just to get a little bit more depth. Lashes that I'm wearing today are some lashes I found on Amazon and they're freaking amazing. <laughs> I absolutely love them. They're only 12 bucks, guys. Like, seriously, how can you, like, what's better than that? You know, and they're like mink lashes at that. So, of course, you guys already know I'm going to prime my face with the Benefit Poreless Primer. Just going to rub that all in. And, um, yeah. So, I'm going to take my NARS foundation. You guys already know I'm rocking with NARS forever, forever, ever, forever, ever, forever, ever. And this, um, that shade that I'm using is, I believe it's Tahoe, I want to say. Yeah, Tahoe's the foundation or the shade that I'm using. So I'm going to be taking my NARS concealer and this is in medium to caramel I believe. If I'm wrong I will leave the correct info down below in the description box. But I'm just going to apply that underneath my eyes, my forehead, my nose, my cupid's bow and my chin. And this is the shade that is closest to my skin color. I always do two concealers because <laughs> I like I like it, move it, move it. No, I'm just kidding. No, but I like extra coverage because I want my face to be fleeky. Even if this is just like go-to makeup, whatever, like I always do con two concealers just because it just gives me the coverage that I want. Um, and then as you guys will see in just a moment, I will do my other concealer, which is also from NARS, but it's a lighter color. And this is the medium one custard. I apply that right on top of the medium to caramel and the same areas underneath my eyes, my chin, my cupid's bow, and then my forehead. I've tried a lot of concealers from various different brands, but in my opinion, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer would have to be the best um, because number one, it's great coverage, and number two, it's creamier than a lot of uh, concealers out there. One of my next favorites would have to be the I believe Benefit Tape Shape or Shape Tape. I always like get them mixed up. It's either Shape Tape or Tape Shape. Anyways, that would have to be like my next favorite. But at the same time, I feel like NARS would still have one up on them. Just because I feel like the coverage is a lot better. But trust me y'all, um, I've tried various different concealers. And which a lot of them are, you know, different brands are really good. 
but for some reason I always come back to NARS because NARS just I just love it like I just love the consistency I love the coverage everything okay so to contour I'm going to be using the concealer from Vanity Planet brush and then I'm taking my LA Pro Girl concealer in uh, dark cocoa just kidding it's called chestnut that's the shade I'm using chestnut LA Pro Girl and I'm just going to apply that on the high um, high arcs of my cheek and then my forehead and then my chin just to give my face uh, just to sculpt my face make it real chiseled you know contour that thing give me some high cheekbones and whatnot <laughs> I forgot to bring the product into the camera, but I'm using my Allure Mercier Translucent Powder, setting powder, and I'm placing that underneath my eyes to set it, my nose, my chin, um, and my forehead to set my highlight, and then I don't really even set my face for super long. I'm using the Kabuki brush from Vanity Planet, and all the brushes that uh, that were sent to me were so cute, and I love them. And they were able to do the job just fine, super smooth bristles, and I would probably continue to use these brushes. So to contour my face, I'm taking the angled contour brush from Vanity Planet. It's um, it's just an angled brush um, that I feel like would have been um, that was perfect for. Contouring they gave me literally everything from um, different size brushes uh, For eyeshadow like really good eyeshadow looks that I could use um, good um, uh, Blush brushes contour brushes concealer brushes literally everything and this is a blush brush that I'm using um, From Vanity Planet as well. You could use it for powder and blush um, But I just used it for my brush for my blush <laughs> and then I'm gonna take their um, large fan brush from Vanity Planet as well I'm gonna use that to highlight and I'm using the Anastasia um, highlight palette because <laughs> that palette is literally everything guys like I'm not even joking like it's it's literally everything so uh, next I'm going to be taking this is the rounded liner brush and I'm actually not going to use this for liner. I'm actually going to use it for my tear duct and I'm taking my Dazzle Light and that's the eyeshadow from MAC and I just use that in my tear duct just to really make my eyes pop because it's a super basic look I just need something to make it pop. <laughs> um, so for my lips I'm going to be using NYX. This is the liner uh, club hopper. I actually just started using this because I was um, looking for a more inexpensive liner that was really close to the MAC uh, bittersweet and I would say it has to be the closest and this liner was like what six bucks maybe and the bittersweet is like 20 and I was like oh let me get it and then I'm gonna be taking my Anastasia sepia lip gloss you guys this is like this used to be like my go-to lip gloss literally for like every look and I ran out and I literally just now got it back I have no idea why it took me so long but I love this lip gloss because it's just such like a really pretty like just like an everyday kind of like lip gloss you know what I mean like I could and you could even wear it at night too you know so that's why I, I love it because I could wear it during the day at night and it's just it's such a pretty color like you know what I mean like look at that look at that <laughs> But yeah, that's pretty much it to this makeup look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, thumbs up, and I will see you guys soon.